Welcome everybody to this short introduction to the PCB Investigator software solution. PCB Investigator is developed by EasyLogix, founded in 2008 and located in Regensburg, Germany. EasyLogix is a member of the ODB++ Solution Alliance, the IPC2581 Consortium and the FAD Association. PCB Investigator is the perfect design review tool for electronic engineering as well as production preparation. It focuses on design rule checks, thermal and current simulations, as well as on general design review and analysis. The integrated design rule check is perfect supplement to checks already included in the layout system, as it performs its analysis directly on the manufacturing data output and it also takes non-electrical parts like soldier masks and pastes into account. What many layout systems for example do not report are non-producible or non-edgeable copper bottlenecks within the same net like shown in this picture. Also copper spacing errors are found, which are for example caused by additional breakout layers that are added to the manufacturing data output but are not visible or checked within the layout tool itself. PCB Investigator also performs different checks on the soldier mask layer. One of those checks focuses on two small distances between the soldier mask opening and surrounded copper. Due to a slight displacement between the copper structure and the soldier mask during production, there is the risk that surrounding copper could be unintentionally exposed which opens the door for short circuits by soldier bridges or dirt. When the soldier mask opening for drills is too small, a little displacement can lead to soldier resist running into the drill. The result is an undefined state and a possibly contaminated chemical bath. This raises the production costs and the risk for failures and that is what nobody needs. Another check reports all drill pads where the annular ring for the drill is too small. In that case a drill which is displaced within the allowed tolerances could be partly located outside the copper pad, which can lead to failures due to a loose or broken contact, like shown in this picture. Also for unplated drills a certain minimum distance to surrounded copper should be maintained. The PCB supplier needs this distance for tenting the hole during the plating process to avoid copper in the hole. When the unplated drill could not be securely tented, a second drill process after the plating process is needed instead. This raises the cost enormously. Also, the soldier paste is verified in PCB Investigator to ensure the paste will dissolve correctly from the stencil. Therefore, the ratio between ground area and wall area of the paste elements must have a certain value which is defined in the IPC 7525. If not, there is a risk that the paste remains in the stencil instead of adhering to the PCB. For achieving a perfect soldering and placement, PCB Investigator also investigates the assembly information in the dataset. For a reliable pick and place process and to avoid soldier bridges, a minimum distance between two components must be maintained. This distance depends on the height and size of the component. Another issue can happen during soldiering, well known as Tombstone effect. When the copper connection of the two pads of a small component differs significantly, there is a risk that the component stands up during soldiering due to an imbalanced cooling down of the paste and the related forces. PCB investigator reports those components with a few clicks. Performing the design rule check of PCB Investigator is the first step to avoid unneeded costs and to increase the reliability of your printed circuit board. Although in some cases the standard rules must be violated to fulfill some requirements, there is always a potential to save money and increase the reliability with a few minor layout changes. The second focus of PCB Investigator is on the simulation and optimization of the temperature, the current density as well as the voltage drop on the board. The temperature simulation considers heating not only caused by the power loss of components, but also caused by joule heating of high currents. For the simulation, the layer stack up, the different materials and the exact copper structure is used. The 
result can also be analyzed in the integrated 3D viewer of PCB Investigator. To ensure the correct operation of the PCB, it's often important to take a deeper look at the resulting currents on a single net. With PCB Investigator you can easily find out how the current flow spreads across tracks as well as across any area flow. On this net for example we see a current density of more than 40 amperes per square millimeter. Also, the voltage drop on a net can have a strong impact on the reliability and correct operation of your board. In this case, we have a voltage drop of 5.3 millivolts on this net, which implies a copper resistance of 10.6 milliohms. The datasheet of the component will give us a hint about the impact of this voltage drop. A big advantage of working and simulating with PCB Investigator is the fact that it offers tools and possibilities to not only simulate but also improve the thermal behavior of your board. One possibility here is to use the included editing functions to change and adapt the existing copper structure. In this example the additional copper will help to spread the heat into the large plane. Additional thermal wires will also help to reduce the temperature by improving the heat transfer to other layers. Before doing those changes, the heat was trapped in the copper area under the large component. Afterwards, the heat spreads much better into the surrounding copper plane and other layers, which results in a temperature reduction of 17 degrees Celsius. Another reasonable way to reduce the temperature could be a heatsink. With PCB Investigator, you have the possibility to configure and simulate a fitting heatsink for any component. Again we see the situation before doing any optimization. The heat was trapped and we had approximately 140 degrees on the board. By adding the heatsink the temperature can be reduced by 45 degrees as the heat can much better dissipate to the environment. A good solution could also be a so-called insulated metal substrate on one side of the PCB. In this example we added a gap head and a 2mm aluminium plate to the bottom side. Again we see the initial situation with the hotspot and 140 degrees maximum temperature. The insulated metal substrate helps to spread the heat quite evenly over the whole board. In that way the temperature could be decreased by 36 degrees. PCB Investigator Physics helps you with the thermal management already in design phase, even before the first prototype is produced. You can easily simulate different heat reducing mechanisms. And the best thing is, you do all of this within the same tool, PCB Investigator Physics. You do not have to switch back to any layer tool. Last but not least, PCB Investigator is the perfect solution for your PCB design review process. 
A connection to SharePoint enables all involved departments to review the right dataset simultaneously. Microsoft SharePoint is therefore used in the background as data and version management solution and ensures a well regulated data access without locally copied or duplicated datasets. Designs can be checked out, commented or freezed by any person having the appropriate rights. That is how global teams can work together in a defined process. Different measurement methods thereby help to evaluate and rate the manufacturability of the PCB. Copper spacings, pitches, annular rings, as well as for example drill distances, can be determined with a few clicks. Preparing the data for production is another strength of PCB Investigator. Soldier paste can be replaced, copper areas can be optimized and like shown in this example, soldier mass can be oversized. Reviewing a complex network can be a hard job without the appropriate tools. PCB Investigator offers a bunch of possibilities for highlighting and tracking nets or grouping them together. Applying different colors for nets or pins of certain function groups with just one click is another strength of PCB Investigator. What also saves a lot of time in the design review process is to focus only on changed areas when a new version or index of the PCB should be reviewed. The graphically board compare of PCB Investigator shows exactly the areas where the layout changed. With this information, doing a design review is a piece of cake. But the best is yet to come. What makes PCB Investigator unique is its powerful application programming interface. Any check, highlight method, or repeating process can be automated with a small script or plugin. This very simple example shows how the color of predefined pins can be manipulated with a few lines of code. Everything is possible. The ability to visualize and analyze every aspect of a PCB at the push of a button makes it possible to avoid errors and arrive at high quality products in a shorter time. Development and purchasing, production and quality assurance, EMC lab, prototype building, sales. The more complex the products, the more isolated the work in these departments. It is high time that everyone went back to working with the same information. Consistent use of ODP++ and visualization with PCB Investigator will pave the way. The last topic of this video is entirely devoted to team collaboration solutions powered by PCB Investigator. Here the first thing I want to introduce is the often missed connection between the 2D eCard world and the 3D MCAD world. With the so-called native board import extension of PCB Investigator, it is possible to create a full representation of your PCB within SOLIDWORKS, Cartier, Siemens NX or Solid Edge. This 3D model includes all available information like net names, component references and the complete layer stack up. Now your MCAD expert can easily check whether the PCB fits into its housing or it can do further simulations provided by the MCAD software. With the Online Collaboration Viewer, EasyLogix also offers an online solution for managing access to your CAD layout data without passing the data on to anyone. By logging in into a website, your customer, your supplier or your shop floor operators can load and view any PCB layout that you have defined. The confidential data set itself is never transferred to the user, but he can navigate through the layout in the same way as with an installed CRD viewer. He is also able to highlight and filter nets and components and to access their properties like in PCB Investigator. 
Also a bill of material with cross highlight to the layout is included. This solution is platform independent and there's no special installation needed on client side. Just a standard web browser and a very basic computer is needed. Another simple but perfect solution to give other team members or partners access to the layout is provided with PSP Investigator's embedded concept. This is a license-free layout viewer, including a CRD dataset, which is embedded into the executable file. When starting this executable file, a password can be optionally needed before the viewer with the loaded design data opens. The user then has access to the data like in a light version of PCB Investigator. He's not able to open any other design, but he can highlight and filter nets and components and can access their properties. With the PCB Investigator Embedded concept, everybody sees the same and no viewer installation or license is needed on client side. The tool suite of PCB Investigator offers a broad range of possibilities to help teams collaborating in an efficient way. A lot of import and export formats, as well as the MBI interface to the most common MCAT tools and show the best possible knowledge exchange. When data security becomes important, the online collaboration viewer, as well as the embedded data viewer, are the right tools to achieve both data protection and team collaboration. Ultimately, PCB Investigator is just your best option to connect all persons involved in the PCB development process, to reduce prototyping costs and to speed up the time to market of your product. For any questions, please visit our website www.pcb-investigator.com or contact us via info at easylogics.de. Goodbye and thanks for watching this video.